Welcome to the Sky at Night magazine vodcast, your monthly dose of astronomy on the web. Welcome to the Scar at Night magazine vodcast. In this month's episode, we're going to be talking about how you can observe the night sky with just a pair of binoculars. Now, it's easy to think that when you get into astronomy, you need a huge telescope to enjoy the night sky. But in fact, a good pair of binoculars will show you a huge variety of the night sky's best objects. Now, a pair of 10 by 50s like these will show you lovely star clusters like the Pleiades cluster, some of the brighter nebulae like the Orion Nebula, and also some of the brighter galaxies. They'll also be good at observing variable stars and some of the more prominent craters and seas on the Moon. But what do the numbers mean? Well, these, as I said, are a pair of 10 by 50s. Now, the first number, 10, refers to the magnification that the binoculars give. So, in this case, that's 10 times magnification. The second number is the diameter in millimetres of the objective, that's the front lens here. So these are 50 millimetre lenses, so that we say this pair of binoculars are a pair of 10 by 50s. Binoculars come in many different shapes and sizes, from small 10 by 50 models to huge pairs on their own dedicated tripods, and even some with image stabilising technology built in. Choosing the right pair for you is important. If you're just starting out, then we'd recommend a good pair of 10x50s or 12x50s. You'll be able to find an equipment dealer in the pages of Sky at Night magazine. Now, one advantage that a pair of binoculars like these have over, say, a high-powered telescope is they give a lovely wide field of view. Now, for a pair of binoculars like these, that may vary between 5 and 9 degrees. That means they're excellent at looking at things like star clusters and the rich star fields of the Milky Way. But what other objects can you see with a good pair of binoculars? Well, we've enlisted the help of BBC Sky at Night stargazing expert Pete Lawrence to tell us a little bit more. March 2009 provides some really interesting binocular targets, including a comet, a really thin lunar crescent, and a wonderful cascading open cluster. Comet Lulin approached magnitude 4 at its peak back in February, slightly brighter than predicted. It fades throughout March, but you should still be able to follow it with just binoculars. On the night of the 5th of March, it passes a couple of degrees to the south of Messier 44, the beehive cluster in Cancer the Crab, but the nearby waxing gibbous moon will interfere with the view. It fades to around magnitude 9.5 by the end of the month, when it will only just be visible in binoculars given really dark skies. This month's new moon occurs on the 26th of March. The following evening, look out for the thin 27-hour-old lunar crescent low down in the west. Make sure the sun has well and truly set before using binoculars in this region of the sky, though. Thin crescents aren't that easy to spot against the bright twilight sky, and it's often just as you're about to give up that you'll sight your goal. The best time to start looking is about 40 minutes after sunset, and you've got about half an hour from this time on before the crescent gets too low to pick out. If you don't have much luck with the comet or the thin moon, the spring night sky still has some gems on offer, including the fantastic Coma Open Cluster, known as Malot 111. It's pretty easy to find and can be located using that familiar signpost in the sky known as the plough or saucepan. Follow the arc of the saucepan's handle away from the pan to locate the bright orange star Arcturus. Then follow the leftmost pair of stars of the pan of the saucepan to locate the star Regulus and Leo. Malot 111 can be found just above the midpoint of the line joining these two stars. Its triangular form appears several degrees across, making it a perfect binocular object and something to enjoy at your leisure in the spring sky. So now you know what to look for, here are some top tips for buying and using your binoculars. A pair of 10 by 50 binoculars can be bought for as little as £20. They'll be fine for looking at a variety of objects. When buying binoculars, consider their weight. After hours of craning your neck, a heavy pair can literally be a bit of a pain. 
Why not invest in an adapter to attach your binoculars to a tripod? This will hold the weight of your binoculars and allow you to enjoy observing. If you do use a tripod, weigh it down with something like some stones in a carrier bag to add stability for observing. Finally, always allow your eyes around 30 minutes to an hour to adapt to the darkness. Binoculars can give even the most advanced amateur astronomer hours worth of enjoyment underneath the night sky. And they're also a great way to get started in astronomy without spending too much money. So next time you're out observing, why not grab a pair and see what the night sky has to offer? Well, that's about all for this month's vodcast. You can get started using your binoculars straight away, because in the March issue of Sky at Night magazine, we have an observing challenge for you to see 40 celestial objects in one night. And we'll also show you how to observe a lunar occultation and much, much more. So don't forget to pick up the latest issue at your local newsagent or bookstore.